Okay, Kim, thank you. Now, we told you we're here at the Oklahoma History Museum. We are celebrating 60 years of broadcasting. And KOCO, you know, it has deep roots right here in Oklahoma. We were at one time owned by some well-known Oklahomans who really wanted a different voice in our community. And as we celebrate 60 years today, we want to take a look back at our station's history, and we have to go to Enid, where it all started. This is the building where KOCO first went on the air in July of 1954. At the time, we were known as KGEO for Greater Enid, Oklahoma. The owner, George Streets, was new to television broadcasting. He owned an appliance store next door to the station. He produced it with four of his salesmen in hands from his old hardware store. They were learning on the fly. Here's one of the first cameras that was used to produce local shows, including a cartoon segment that went up against the 6 p.m. news. And it killed the ratings for the other two uh, stations' uh, newscast. It was exciting and, you know, I was young and impressive. It was you know, it's kind of glamorous in some respects, like show business. Elizabeth Bishop worked at the original studio. To me, it was fun because we were very small and you had to really do a lot of things. Elizabeth kept program logs up to date and occasionally appeared on TV as a model. She moved with the station to Oklahoma City in 1958. They broadcast from this location off Britain Road in an old Kimberlings grocery store and eventually became known as KOCO for Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The station sold twice, ending up under the ownership of prominent Oklahomans, including John Kirkpatrick, Dean McGee, and Robert S. Kerr. KOCO was a leader in diversity, in getting people on to talk about African American issues, Indian issues. Of things affecting the community out of the mainstream. The group helped set the stage for what KOCO is today. A lot of the civic involvement you still see at KOCO today dates back to those early days. So much wonderful history, and KOCO moved to another OKC location off of 63rd and Portland, and then in 1979 moved to the building that we're currently in, which is located off of Britain Road.